there's a lot of topics I want to talk about and one of it is where do we start being a black sheep in a black seat do you know how that feels like being driven around and having people control where you go what you do how you live your life what you need to have in your life who you need to be in a, in this life and what you need to create in this life black sheep people i'm here for you i'm here for you i truly was a black sheep probably still am probably will forever be a black sheep um, in my family in my friends you know growing up literally being a black sheep and always being at the back seat watching everybody live their life and me just being an extra in my own life and in their life and there comes a pivotal point where you realize uh, where's my will in this where is my decisions in this you know and really taking charge of your life and taking charge of what you actually want in your life a lot of people can say a lot of things about who you need to be what you need to study which job you need to get what where you need to live which person you need to date and which how much money you should be making according to your race according to your gender according to your height your length your width it goes on and on and on and there comes a point in your life where you really get hurtful you know as we said in south africa you would get madonkas <laughs> you know you'll get so fed up that you just listen i came here alone and i need to die alone and i need to live alone and i need to sleep alone because with whatever you experience you experience it alone and i think these topics are so important to talk about the true feeling and the true meaning of being a black sheep sitting in a black back seat in a black seat <laughs> you know and a lot of there's a lot of black in this um because really it's outcasted you know whether it's race whether it's gender whether it's whatever it is it really is outcasted it's like sitting out like a sore thumb you know constantly oh look you're different oh no oh, pointing fingers every single time oh look look she got a she got a funny teeth <laughs> you know that was me like standing up and really just owning my uniqueness, owning my features, owning my beauty, um, but being bullied for it because, oh my God, look, she's got a unicorn teeth. <laughs> you know, people go on and on and on and until you really, really, really appreciate who you are. So the meaning of being a black sheep in the black seat, uh, we need to take our, our power back. We need to really stand up for ourselves we really need to say listen hang on <laughs> no more you driving for me no more you dictating my life and mm, it feels so good to book <laughs> on youtube um but honestly it's about really taking ownership of your life and realizing that you have the choice and the power to drive the, the, the vehicle you don't need to sit in anybody else's back seat and then be a black sheep. You have the power to literally say, uh, bah, <laughs> I am not having this. I have a lot of dark humor, but I went through a lot of shit. <laughs> a lot of shit. So I speak my truth in however it comes out. But taking charge and removing yourself from being a black sheep in, from the back seat. I hope that makes sense. Does it make sense? Make it make sense, okay? Make it make sense. If it doesn't make sense, then the message is not for you, okay? But I know for the people that have been a black sheep, <laughs> make it make sense. Because this is a time for you to be seen, to take your seat in the front seat.